I think that's the best. Like, you know, these days with, with a lot of the stuff that I do and like to do, the more challenging it is, the better. The more it's scare. If I read a script and it scares me, I'm in. <laughs> I, am to- I am totally in, because. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, what did you have to lose? I mean, uh, you know, I mean, in the theater, I mean, like, uh, I mean, why not, uh, you know, just go for it? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And I always, I've done a few television and film roles, independent projects, but I love theater because it just has such a presence to it. And uh, there's just... Especially with theater, there's a lot um, an audience, you know, and uh, oh yeah, there's audience with film and television, but not in front of you, you know, uh, not there in the room with you. And uh, in the theater, every every performance is opening night because it's it's different for the audience, it's different for you. Um, I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, you you do a play that. Uh, audience a is going to react differently than audience B, which is great. Um, there are things, I mean, I've done comedies where I, you know, there's a line of dialogue that, you know, it's funny and the audience does nothing. And then they laugh at something completely different. So it's like, <laughs> um, audiences, they, uh, they're unpredictable, which makes it, it's, it's fun. And you're having that, that shared, uh, experience like uh it's 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 just this electric feeling that uh you just can't beat definitely definitely do you have any upcoming projects or has everything I, kind of yeah, slowed you with know, the pandemic yeah i mean like i have i mean like you i have two films that uh um that are in very, very early stages of, uh, of development. Uh, one's a Western and the other is, uh, kind of a, 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 a vampire film. And so, uh, I'm excited about that. I think in the Western, I think I play a, uh, a banker. So I'm sure if it's in the old West, I'm sure a banker that gets, uh, robbed by, uh, <laughs> robbed by someone. And then I think I'm playing a, 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 a constable, like a, in the, in the vampire film. So I'm excited and uh, I mean, I'm excited to be doing anything, but I've been doing a lot of uh, online zoom readings and uh, you know, of course it's not the same as being on a stage, but uh, it, it, it keeps the batteries charged. And mm-hmm. I think, you know, it, uh, and you know, learning some new monologues and some poems and uh reading constantly watching you know the nice thing you know it's it's this time of year for the uh the award it's award season so the award screeners are out so i've had a chance to see a lot of the really marvelous movies that have been out this year and uh but no just you know um you know just keeping you know keeping my website and everything uh in my demo reel all up to date and you know, sending it out to people like all the other actors out there, but uh, it's difficult because it, it's it's so difficult to say when you know everything. I mean, you you I, I hesitate to use the phrase "goes back to normal" because I don't think there is a going back. Mm-hmm. I think there's only a moving forward. I think there are things going to be very very different for a very very long time. Um, I think theater live theater and when i think of of course you know i think everybody's going to take their lead from what broadway in in new york does um i i think it's going to be a while until live theater comes back not because of one because of um you know people getting vaccinated but of course getting people back to rehearsing and audiences being comfortable in sitting in a theater with you know crowds again i think that's going to take some time but we'll, we'll get there i think we'll get there i think it's just going to take some time mm-hmm. definitely and it's hard to think it would be get getting getting back to normal because it's kind of hard to remember what the normal was you know yeah yeah it's uh but you know what like the the nice thing through all of this is that uh you know even though families in many cases have not been able to physically see each other. Like I have not seen my parents in a year, but uh, I have my wife and I have my son and thank God for 
Zoom and Facebook and things like that, that uh, you're able to keep in touch with the family. And it just, I think, you know, if, if everybody, you know, getting vaccinated and being healthy and safe, I think when you do see your family members and you do get back on the stage or whatever it is that you wish to do, I think that's just going to make it all the more special all the more sweet i mean i could probably tell you right now i mean i the first time i walk into a rehearsal room it's probably going to be an emotional experience just because you know i i've been doing this for more than half my life and to be able to not do it for one whole calendar year uh and like with anybody with any work you know um it's been very very hard so it, uh, when when you get the call, it's probably going to be uh, emotional, but they will be tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. And I'm I'm glad that I'm still being able to work in this pandemic, you know, because yeah. I, I have to work, <laughs> you know, at a young age. It just, I have that spirit, you know. Yeah, that drive, yeah. Yeah, and that's you know, that's something also you know to be an actor. I mean, you you gotta have a drive. This is something you you can't uh, you can't go halfsies. I mean, you gotta go all the way with it. And uh, now, did you have a chance? I know I sent you some old interviews, and I sent you my demo reel. I don't know if you had a chance to watch anything, but yeah, I looked at your demo reel, and I enjoyed uh, that. You know, you've done some interesting work. And, Thank uh, you. I haven't had a chance to look at the other interviews, but... Uh, yeah. I feel like those give a sense of, like, you know, uh, I mean, I, it's, I've gone through a lot of what we've discussed uh, discussed so far. And, yeah, I mean, if anything, I mean, it's all about trying to have, like, variety, mm-hmm. trying to do something different, try to, you know, bring something fresh. Um Try not to pigeonhole yourself. I mean, uh, you know, and or and or be pigeonholed versus the industry. You know, sometimes likes to do it. If the industry sees you do one thing really well, then they'll they'll cast you in that for uh, that kind of part for the rest of your career. But uh, you know, it's hard to break uh, typecasting sometimes. Yeah, definitely, and definitely, I wanted to mention, you know. Uh, what are some challenges for you being an actor? And I have to say, um, it happened to me when I started is, uh, not, to, uh, is to not take rejection personally, you know? Uh, yeah, I, uh, my thing is I, I, and this is just a mentality when you have a supporting actor, character, actor mentality. If I don't get cast in something, I always think the next job's always around the corner. Um, and that's and that's kind of saved me. It saves you a lot of heartache. And I think knowing yourself, knowing your type, knowing where you fit. Dax Shepard, he, he has my new favorite line is a line he said. It's it's knowing how to stay in your lane. And what he means, I think, when he says that, it's like you know, like I know myself smart enough. I'm smart enough to know that I'm not going to get the call to be the romantic lead, which is fine. I would rather be the romantic lead's best buddy that tells him at the end of the movie, the great scene, go get the girl, stupid. You know, uh, <laughs> there's plenty of actors you can play the romantic lead, but it's stay in your lane, stay, know where you fit, know. Um, and, it, and I think how you learn that is by learning, knowing yourself as much as possible. And that's, you know, where you, you know, you're able to stay grounded. You have the right people in your corner. You have good friends. You have good family who are always looking out for your best interests. And I think, you know, one of the challenges, I think, that, I mean, just because now the way um, content is delivered, you know, I mean, people make movies with iPhones and the different platforms. Um competition is is even more so than 10 20 30 40 50 years ago there's so many more actors out there now from all over the world yet there's not as many parts Mm -hmm. and so you know the the key is uh i mean you know finding the right people to work with creating your own content um 
as possible if you have uh, the means. Of course, money is always an issue, but there are things that you know people can do uh, that you know do not have uh, you know if you do not have thousands of dollars, uh, which most actors do not uh, you know have the kinds of budgets that someone that like Tom Cruise gets. But uh, but you know, and, and also just keep a positive attitude. Just keep a positive attitude. It, it, it the rejection. The rejection is the hardest. I think one of the hardest parts, and changing with the uh, you know the times. I mean, there's always trends and stuff like that. And keep up to date with things, and also never forget the history. Go back and watch the classics. Go back and watch Edward G. Robinson and Catherine Hepburn and Max von Sydow and Lee Volman and Fernando Ray and you know uh, uh, Anthony Quinn. I mean, learn from actors in the past because um there are little there's always things that you could just learn just from watching a performance the the, the subtlety of of like Ed, edward g robinson's work or you know the brilliance of james cagney or audrey hepburn or anyone like that i mean it's just never forget the history because it's such a it's such a rich profession that you know we must we must never forget uh, where actors were all sprung from Mm -hmm. Definitely, and there's different, many types of actors, actors from different fields, you know, and uh, absolutely, the classic acting, you know, it, that acting can quite never be repeated the same, you know, it's no one can beat the classics, but you can get as good as um, training with that and uh, strive to be like that, you know, you just can't think you're second rate, you know, you have to. You know, you yeah, know. when you go into an audition, you have to believe not and not like ego, but you if you're if you're confident, if you trust yourself, trust your abilities, if you trust good material that you have, if you go into an audition and you don't believe that you have something to contribute, the person on the other side of that table, they're going to see that. Mm -hmm. And it's and so you have to believe that you have something that you can bring in, and and you just have to have the mentality of if they like what I do, fine. If they don't, that's fine too. And just you know, as Jimmy Buffett said, breathe in, breathe out, and move on. <laughs> Definitely. And like you said, and I've said this before, acting is not for everybody. You have to have a thick skin because when it comes to that rejection, you know, a lot of people, you know, won't take it well, but you have to learn to have a thick skin and uh, know what you're getting into. <laughs> That's most important. And uh, learn as much as you can. And never stop learning. And... Um, Take a, take as much advice advice as you can get. You know, uh, always. Uh, um, I wouldn't say. Um, well, yeah, ask for help. Always uh, get help when it's advice to you. You know, always take yeah. that. And uh, you know, just you have to try your uh, hardest to do it, and uh, you will succeed. You know. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. <laughs> Yeah, I, I stutter sometimes. It takes me a while to get it out, but once I get it out, I... I... Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. What do you have uh, coming up? I mean, I know you you have the Anthony Quinn, and uh, of course you have uh, our show, and uh, I'm sure you have many other uh, requests coming in. Yeah, I, I stay busy. Uh, I don't have much theater stuff coming up uh, because of the pandemic. You know, that's kind of slowed uh, theater stuff. Sure. Sure. I have a few uh, voiceover uh, works, uh, you know, going on that are being finalized and, uh, you know, and uh, I have some interviews coming up and uh, I have a few episodes of that uh, Actors of the Past show I'm doing, the one with the... I have to, yeah, I have to check that out. I want to see, like, uh, actors that you've, uh, you know, already uh, covered because that, uh, I think just, I mean, th those... You know the actors; uh, they're just they're just wonderful. Like if I could go back in time, and you know any time of period, I would love to have go to go back and be a stock 
member in like John Ford or Frank Capra's group of actors Mm -hmm. like you know like the thomas mitchells or the edward arnold's or the frank phelan's or the beulah